They seem as, as fit as each other. They have the same sort of range of shots. And it's going to be down to the one who makes the fewest unforced errors. That's going to go wide. Oh, gr gross miscalculation. And cannot afford to do too many of those. Set you one started strongly this time. Looks a bit more determined. Chawarat. And again, the the error cannot afford to let things slip away, even at this early stage. 5-1, significant. Setiawan will be feeling good. Good smash. Set your one on the ascendancy. Opened up the court well for the smash. Oh, it looks around in disgust. Two, maybe three points given away. Nice looking shot, just a bit wide though. How much fuel does Chawarat have in the tank? And again, one of those lapses. Very disconcerting. I'm just calling for a little timeout. Oh, the shoelaces. Is he having some other problems, though? Blistering. In discomfort. Now, well, this could be a a crucial change of fortune and the way he's maneuvering it's almost like it's cramp umpire calls for medical assistance i'm sure well, this will be uh, very sad if this is a more serious injury. Chawarat can go and sit down and contemplate the next few rallies. Setiawan with a three-point lead in trouble and calling for medical help. Not possible, of course, to diagnose from here, but the way he was holding his foot some sort of cramp or pain, not, 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 I would have thought, blistering of any sort. Something underneath, he's saying. Don't know whether he's twisted it.
Spectators looking on, youngsters. Getting out the, the magic box. Used to have something called magic spray. And we'll try and give you some sort of diagnosis. And difficult to pick out a point where such was the discomfort that uh, he had to walk off. And some delicate areas in the feet there, the tendons. Let's have a look, see if we can identify when it happened. Well, the hand goes up, I'm not sure why. There, there's some discomfort landing there. And just when he comes down, when he lands, there's this clearly this moment of pain. Let's hope it's not uh, ligaments. But in such a game as uh, badminton like this, a foot injury at this stage in the game as well, Chawarat, of course, would, would not be happy about losing because of an opponent's injury but it's certainly something that takes the, the pressure off him at the moment Or some consternation about the injury. And, and clearly some uncertainty. Keeping loose, because stoppages like this can work in, in both directions. Chawarat must keep his focus as much as he can, keep loose. Now, there's been some taping up, some strapping up of the foot, and clearly he's going to continue if he can. But you just wonder, the, some small movement, jarring, a loss of balance could make it worse. Team situation, this is the the first of the three matches, the first singles. There'll be a second singles after this one, uh, completed by the doubles. And Setio One now has the strap, a little bit of this sort of maneuvering if it was a thigh or a calf injury, you'd sort of associate with cramp. But by all appearances, it was in the, the sole of the foot. Let's see, well, he's up on his feet. Socks are going back on again. And I think when, when the game does resume, within two or three rallies, we will discover uh, the severity of that injury. As always, really quite impassive, Setuan. Never good thing, never a good idea to give away too much emotion to an opponent. So, just to refresh your memories, we're in the third game of this, the first match between Indonesia and Thailand. Setiawan took the first game 21-19. Chawarat 
responded bravely in the second, winning 21-17. At this stage, after the injury, Indonesia leading 7-4. Now we'll have to wait and see how this will affect his mobility. Now Chawarat must clearly make his opponent move around and Hitting the shuttle into the net like that is not going to help his cause. It may sound mean, but he's got to make Setiawan run around. He's got to make him move. Setiawan building the lead. Just feeling the foot. Excellent reply. But Setuan is limping. The desperate times for Setuan. But if he carries on playing shots like that... Oh, he stopped. Now, oh, sorry, my apologies. We've reached 11 points and it's a change of ends. But clearly some concern. The shoe is coming off again. I'm not sure how the umpire feels about too many stops. Needs a bit more spray. Difficult for Chawarat. Always, or they say about a different game. Beware the injured golfer. Well, it looks like beware the injured badminton player. It's not always easy to play against somebody who is clearly injured. So we have the change of ends at 11 points being reached set you one to serve and I just get a feeling that the drama is not yet over there's plenty of time to go A uh, wonderful net shot. So Let's watch the cross court. Very, very well played. And a giveaway. Chawarat must feel very strange, very uncomfortable. He's now seven points behind. and cannot seem to break down the defences yet. The easy advice, of course, to give is to keep the shuttle moving, keep it going, extend the rallies if you can, go for the winner when it's appropriate. Just that slight shake of the head. Can't believe what's going on. The game is slipping away. So now, will that give him a little bit of a clue by switching to the backhand side? Is that difficult for Setuan to move to? Up to 15. Eight. 
Setiawan hobbling, but still there. Still got the lead, building the lead even. That one's wide. Setiawan, he really believes he can do this. Chawarat, devastated. It really looked out. Well, going the other way. Sixteen ten. Well, if Indonesia and Setuan in particular pull this off now, this will be a remarkable victory considering the physical condition of this man. Not quite long enough. Says I'm not quite ready. Forward and back, forward and back. Making him work and wins the point. And this might be the way. Quizzical, bemused look on his face. Cannot understand how he can be six points behind. Close, but not close enough. Too much. Chawarat back to four points behind. Both results still possible. And that's wide as well. But this one's good. Brings him to within two points of victory. A dramatic victory if it happens. This is match point. Unbelievable. Setiwan just getting it back. Oh, that must be on the line. The narrowest of margins. He's still there. Still match points. An extraordinary victory for Setuan. Despite the injury, clearly apparent. A victor against Chawarat from Thailand. Indonesia, therefore, take a one game to love lead in this match. Twenty-one sixteen in the deciding game.
Although, I mean, this is just sort of looking into the future. There's the score line, very tight. One has to look to the future and say, well, in the next round, if Indonesia get through, will he be able to play? Neat touch at the net. This is from the second game, I believe. That was the injury earlier on in the third game, I beg your pardon. And some medical treatment got going again. And a try as he might, uh, Chawarat could not capitalize on that somewhat uh, nebulous advantage in mobility. And there was the victory point. So that's the first one, first match, Indonesia leading by one to zero in the semi-final. And I say, I repeat, if Indonesia get through to the final, one wonders whether Freddy Setiawan will be able to take his place in the team. Second singles will be coming up now. Suryo Nugroho for Indonesia will play against Pritja Somsri of Thailand. Players, I'm sure, are very nearby, ready to continue this contest. Here they come. Suryo in.